Hello everyone and welcome. In this video we are going for a test drive in my 2002 Honda S2000 after I have changed out the differential and swapped the tires for some sticky summer tires. So it's a nice warm day, sunny, beautiful, and we've got a new differential in there. It is a 4.44 final drive rather than the 4.1, so a little bit more aggressive gearing. So starting off, how does the new differential feel? Well, just from kind of a quality standpoint, uh, you really don't notice that it's there. So, you know, no additional noise, no additional vibration, super smooth. So I'm really pleased with uh, how Putty Mod built the diff. It feels really good and the install went really well. Uh, so overall, uh, you know, great quality product. I have no issues with it so far as far as the quality. From a performance standpoint, does it actually make a difference when you put your foot down? Well, I'll be honest, you don't feel much. And if you've watched my my testing video, then you've seen that you know peak G-force is going to be different by about 5%. So a 5% improvement in peak G-force in second gear. So when you put your foot down, you're gonna feel a little bit more than if you had the 4.1 in it. Overall, honestly, it's a very minimal difference. And like I said, if I were to do it again, uh, I probably would go with the 4.77. I'm not too worried about the fact that the revs are gonna be up a little bit higher even cruising on the highway. Um, you know, I'm fine with that uh, because this isn't my daily driver. I don't take it on the highway all that much. So I think the 4.44 is an okay choice. I'd say the 4.77 is better. Even though I do plan on adding power to this car, um, and honestly, you know, once you start to add power, you don't really need that gearing adjustment as much. That said, this car revs to 9,000 RPM, so you've got a lot of space to play with as far as gearing is concerned, and I don't think there's anything really holding you back from going to a 477. I went with the 444 because Putty Mod said, you know, he, he didn't trust the build quality of some of the 4.57s out there, uh, and he said the 477 was too aggressive if I do plan on supercharging the car. Uh, so I went with the 444. I think I'd be okay with the supercharged 477, uh, but that said, you know, it's, it's fun, it adds an improvement there is a you know mathematical difference a physical difference you can measure it uh, so it is quicker it is better uh, just very minimal difference especially for the money you know that you'd be spending in order to buy a new diff uh, it was an expensive differential to buy and you know the install would also be costly if you don't do that yourself or if you need to buy tools for it now there is one difference uh, which I noticed while driving it and that is the, the gearing so when you're shifting and what I noticed is when I was downshifting I have to give it a little bit more throttle uh, in order to match the revs and I wasn't sure why of that so I did the math on the gearing and it turns out like let's say for example you're in fourth gear and you're going to downshift into third gear uh, the, the gap in RPM is larger with more aggressive gear gearing than less aggressive gearing. So switching to the 444, when you do downshift, you have to blip the throttle a little bit more because you're raising the RPM more. And so, you know, I'll show some data on the screen to show exactly what these numbers are. But there is, you know, a decent jump in RPM that's required if you are gonna downshift. Uh, you don't really notice it on upshifts, but you do notice that you have to give it more throttle on downshifts. Uh, not an issue, this has a mechanical throttle. It's very sensitive to your right foot uh, as far as throttle input, so very easy to rev match. It's just something that you will have to kind of get used to uh, because it is different than when you're with the stock 4.1. Now, as far as the tires, this made a very noticeable difference going from those crappy Fusions to these Bridgestone RE71R uh, summer tires. They have so much more grip, um, and you really notice it in, in two ways. You notice it in the steering. The steering feels fantastic. I thought it felt good before, but now it's got a really great response to it. So the second you, know, you start turning that wheel in, you get an immediate turn in, which is really nice. Uh, really great steering in this vehicle, even though it's you know one of the first electronic power steering systems out there, uh, which you know a lot of people say removes feel, and it certainly does compared to some of the hydraulic systems out there. But with these new tires on it, the response is great. It's got a really good on center feel, good weight to it as you turn in. Uh, I really like the steering feel as a result of changing these tires. And also you notice it in the braking. Now, if you watched my video on comparing the Fiat 124 
the Mazda MX-5, the Subaru BRZ, and the Honda S2000. And these are four cars that I absolutely love, but I was going through, you know, the different systems and saying my thoughts, and braking was the one that I was kind of hard on the S2000 for. And I think the reason for that almost purely comes down to the tires that were on it. It didn't have strong braking, and that was purely a result of the tires. And so, you know, I was talking about how the braking, it didn't feel that confident, uh, confidence-inspiring to, you know, slam on the brakes with uh, in the S2000, and the braking feel, you know, not all that great. Honestly, it changes dramatically with these new tires. I mean, it plants you if you put your foot down. Uh, so really great braking in this car now. Um, impressive, great feel to it in the brake pedal. Nice progressive build as you slam down on that pedal or work your way into it. Uh, so I really like it. It's made a tremendous difference going from those old crappy tires to these new tires. I have not yet oversteered in it like I did on the old tires. Honestly, I don't know if I've pushed it quite as hard because the limit on these tires is significantly higher. And so you can corner a bit faster without getting into that, uh-oh, you know, am I going to start to get a little sideways in this thing? So huge improvement with the tires. And this guy's biking with skis. Thank you, sir, for offsetting my carbon footprint and biking up this hill while I burn fuel. So overall, swapping the differential and putting on these new tires, it certainly has improved the way the car feels. Not a huge noticeable difference from the differential, but definitely a noticeable difference with the tires in the amount of cornering grip that you have. This is a great corner to illustrate that. great so thank you guys for watching if you have any questions or comments feel free to leave them below let's get down in a second